I mixed up the words jacuzzi and yakuza, and now I'm in hot water with the Japanese mafia. People ask Reddit. What's the best joke you know? This reminds me of the man who was driving down the road and his car breaks down near a monastery. He goes to the monastery, knocks on the door, and says, my car broke down. Do you think I could stay the night? The monks graciously accept him, feed him dinner, and even fix his car. As the man tries to fall asleep, he hears a strange sound. A sound unlike anything he's ever heard before. The sirens that nearly seduced Odysseus into crashing his ship comes to his mind. He doesn't sleep that night, he tosses and turns trying to figure out what could possibly be making such a seductive sound. The next morning, he asks the monks what the sound was, but they say, we can't tell you. You're not a monk. Distraught, the man is forced to leave. Years later, after never being able to forget that sound, the man goes back to the monastery and pleads for the answer again. The monks reply, we can't tell you. You're not a monk. The man says, if the only way I can find out what is making that beautiful sound is to become a monk, then please, make me a monk. The monks reply, you must travel the earth and tell us how many blades of grass there are and the exact number of grains of sand. When you find these answers, you will have become a monk. The man sets about his task. After years of searching he returns as a grey-haired old man and knocks on the door of the monastery. A monk answers. He is taken before a gathering of all the monks. In my quest to find what makes that beautiful sound, I traveled the earth and have found what you asked for, by design, the world is in a state of perpetual change. Only God knows what you ask. All a man can know is himself, and only then if he is honest and reflective and willing to strip away self-deception. The monks reply, congratulations. You have become a monk. We shall now show you the way to the mystery of the sacred sound. The monks lead the man to a wooden door, where the head monk says, the sound is beyond that door. The monks give him the key, and he opens the door. Behind the wooden door is another door made of stone. The man is given the key to the stone door and he opens it, only to find a door made of ruby. And so it went that he needed keys to doors of emerald, pearl and diamond. Finally, they come to a door made of solid gold. The sound has become very clear and definite. The monks say, this is the last key to the last door. The man is apprehensive, his life's wish is behind that door. With trembling hands, he unlocks the door, turns the knob, and slowly pushes the door open. Falling to his knees, he is utterly amazed to discover the source of that haunting and seductive sound, but, of course, I can't tell you what it is because you're not a monk. What's the difference between an oral thermometer and a rectal thermometer? The taste. What does a robot do during a one-night stand? He nuts and bolts. Not mine, but I think it belongs to my favorite ones. Doctor. Will I be okay? I don't know, Mercury is in Uranus right now. I don't do astronomy doc. Me neither, my thermometer just broke. Did you hear about the cheese factory in France that exploded? Debris was everywhere. So a grandpa takes his grandson out fishing. The grandpa pulls out a smoke and lights it. The kid asks, hey grandpa, can I have one? And he says, does your D touch your arse? And the kid says well no and grandpa says there is your answer, you're too young. Then grandpa pulls out some whiskey and takes a few pulls off the bottle. Kid asks hey could I have a drink of that grandpa? And grandpa says does your D touch your arse? Well. No it doesn't says the kid. Grandpa says well there is your answer. So the kid pulls out some cookies and starts snacking away on them and grandpa says gee kiddo those cookies look pretty good, could I have one? So the kid says does your D touch your arse? And grandpa says why? Yes it does. And the kid says good. You can go duck yourself then. I was in the office today and the cleaning lady asked if I wanted to smoke weed with her after work. I turned her down. I don't really like high maintenance women. If you want to support our new channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. We would also love to read some feedback in the comments. Thank you very much. Dave knows everyone there is to know. Dave was bragging to his boss one day, you know, I know everyone there is to know. Just name someone, anyone, and I'll know them. Tired of his boasting, his boss called his bluff, okay, Dave, how about Tom Cruise? No dramas boss, 
Tom and I are old friends, and I can prove it. So Dave and his boss fly out to Hollywood and knock on Tom Cruise's door and Tom Cruise shouts, Dave. What's happening? Great to see you. Come on in for a beer. Although impressed, Dave's boss is still skeptical. After they leave Cruise's house, he says that he thinks Dave's knowing Cruise was just lucky. No, no, just name anyone else, Dave says. President Obama, his boss quickly retorts. Yup, Dave says, old buddies, let's fly out to Washington. And off they go. At the White House, Obama spots Dave on the tour and motions him and his boss over, saying, Dave, what a surprise, I was just on my way to a meeting, but you and your friend come on in and let's have a cup of coffee first and catch up. Well, the boss is very shaken by now but still not totally convinced. After they leave the White House grounds he expresses his doubts to Dave, who again implores him to name anyone else. The Pope, his boss replies. Sure. Says Dave. My folks are from Germany, and I've known the Pope a long time. So off they fly to Rome. Dave and his boss are assembled with the masses in Vatican Square when Dave says, this will never work. I can't catch the Pope's eye among all these people. Tell you what, I know all the guards so let me just go upstairs and I'll come out on the balcony with the Pope. Working his way to his boss's side, Dave asks him, what happened? His boss looks up and says, I was doing fine until you and the Pope came out on the balcony and the man next to me said, who the duck is that on the balcony with Dave? Four older gents who were college buddies met for dinner for the first time in 20 years. After ordering, one of the men got up to use the bathroom. One of the men boasted about his son my son's so successful, he started at the bottom valeting cars, worked and saved money and he just started his second dealership. For his friend's birthday he bought him a Maserati. All the men clapped and nodded, the next man said about his son my son's so smart, he started as a junior aircraft technician at a small charter, put himself through engineering and he has his own private jet company with millions in revenue. For a friend's birthday he bought his friend a twin engine turboprop. Again all the men wiped tears from their eyes, the third man said about his son my son is a hard worker, he started mowing lawns and went into trades, he is the president of a company that builds subdivisions. For his buddy's birthday he gave his friend a new house. All the men clapped and sat back enjoying their son's accomplishments. The fourth man came back, sat down and asked why they were crying. After finding out, he said yeah you wouldn't believe it but my son's a male stripper and his birthday was last month and three of his clients gifted him a car, a plane and a house. Two nuns were sitting on a park bench when a naked man runs by. One of the nuns had a stroke, the other couldn't reach. Stalin is sitting at his desk busy with paperwork when his assistant bursts into the room and says, Comrade Stalin, there is a clairvoyant here that wants to see you, he claims he can see the future. Send him to Gulag says Stalin, if he could see the future he wouldn't have come here. How is 69 and being in the mafia alike? One slip of the tongue and you are in deep shit. A man goes to a funeral. He asks the widow if he could say a word. He goes to the front and says plethora and sits back down. The widow leans over and whispers thanks, that means a lot. A man comes up and asks to say a few words, and the widow gives him the okay. He steps up to the mic and says with confidence, water pit. The widow gives a small smile. Thanks, I know you mean well. Two guys are walking down the street when they see a dog licking his balls. One guy says, I wish I could do that. The other replies, well maybe just try petting him first. A penguin is on a long deserved vacation from the zoo. He decides to take a road trip out west, where his car breaks down. Luckily, it's right in front of a mechanic in town. He drops the car off and tells the mechanic he's going to get some lunch. It's a really hot day, so after eating he stops by the ice cream shop for a little treat. Walking back to his car, the mechanic tells the penguin it looks like you blew a seal. The penguin laughs, oh, no he said, as he wiped his mouth it's just ice cream. I had a song stuck in my head the other day and kept singing it out loud. My wife finally broke down and screamed will you please stop singing Wonderwall? I said maybe. People are shocked when they find out what a terrible electrician I am. Thank you for listening to another B-Town Reddit Stories episode. Hit the subscribe button and check out our channel for more stories. 
Let us know your opinion about this topic in the comments.